Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Mohammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about custom hierarchy in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Hierarchy is a series of ordered grouping of people or a thing within a system. Normally in an organization, the structure will be in a hierarchy way, the CEO and below to them there are GM operation, GM finance, GM production. And below to them there are HR managers, admin manager, accountant, cashier, line manager, quality manager and below to them there are other workers for them. This is a kind of hierarchy. Another hierarchy is the date, year, quarter, month and a day. This series is also a hierarchy. There's also another kind of hierarchy is the category, subcategory and then the product. Here material and tools is a category, thread, foam and screw is a subcategory, whereas this nylon black thread and eva foam screws are all products. In this similar way, uh, we can make our own hierarchy in the Power BI. The date hierarchy is by default. If you want something else, or our custom based hierarchy, we can do it in Power BI. Let's have a look at the Power BI. The first one, I have this orders table. In this, there is a column called order date. I imported this column from the database and automatically Power BI creates the hierarchy. If you see this down arrow symbol, there is a hierarchy options out there. See here, date hierarchy. So if you expand further, it will give year, quarter, month and day. What if I will just click on this one and then the total sales. I just want to increase the font size. I have made a video about the Power BI tips. If you haven't seen it, just have a look at these tips. It may be useful for you. Now coming back to this one, um, this is the year column. So I'm just enabling this drill down feature. So 2014, 15, 16 and 17 is a year. If I click on any of the year, 2015, in that there are four quarters are there. If I click on any of the quarters, it will drill down further to the month, July, August, September. If I click on any of the month, it will give the details of by day. This is because there's a hierarchy we called here, year, quarter, month and day. If I drill up again, Okay, I will use this one, expand down one level. So what will happen, it just places the data from 2014 to quarter 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4 in one single screen. If I click again, it will split further to each and every month. If I split again, if I expand again, it will give on a daily basis. So year, quarter, month and day. Now, the next option is uh, how you can able to make our custom hierarchy, right? So, let's go to another table, which is the gender table. Here, I have gender, state, and year. Now, I want to add gender and state in a hierarchy. For that, what you need to do is, you just need to click on state, drag and drop over to gender. Power BI will automatically create another column as an hierarchy of gender and state. I will just click on this one, it updates the x axis and then the count in the value for the same. So, this is based on gender. If I keep on this drill down, click on any of this one, it will give the state. If you want to use it by state and gender, you need to realign this by using you just need to click on state again and then drag and drop over to gender it will just sort the data in state to gender you need to delete this one and then click on again it will bring up state first and then the gender see okay cool now, if you want to add one more column, now if you want to add one more column, even you can do that. 
I'm just dragging this ear to on the top of state and gender in this hierarchy area. So it adds the state, gender, and year. I need to sort it again. Just drag and drop over to state. So it sorts this one. Now I am deleting this one on x-axis and again I am clicking on gender hierarchy. It brings up this year at the beginning. If I enable drill down 2018, it brings up the state. If I drill down further, it opens gender. Now bring it up all again. I am using this one. Expand one level. 2017, 18, MGAP, further down. So each and every year, each and every state, and each and every gender, it gives the data. This is how you can able to use the custom hierarchy in Power BI. Not only that, you can use your own custom, like what how you have created here. If you like this video, please click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. If you have any queries and feedbacks, please post it on the comment section below. Share it with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.